Okay, um, in this problem we are trying to find the y-intercept of this equation and whenever you're trying to find the y-intercept you basically want to make the y, the x-coordinate 0. So we're just going to plug in 0 for x and solve for y. So as you can see the x-coordinate cancels so I'm left with 3y equals negative 18 and to get y by itself I'm going to divide by 3 y equals negative 6 so I'm gonna write this as a coordinate point since x was 0 and y came to be negative 6 this would be my coordinate point in this one we're going to find the slope of the line that passes through two points so we want to use our formula that helps us find the slope when we're given two points so basically we have two y's being subtracted and two x's being subtracted and these ones and twos are just a labeling system so I'm going to label this x1 and y1 and this x2 and y2 and I'm going to plug them in accordingly so y2 is negative 9 minus which is from the formula and y1 is also negative so make sure when you're plugging them in you don't lose one of your negative signs x2 is 4, there's a minus sign in the formula, and x1 happens to be positive, so that's okay there. This negative is going to make this negative a positive, so we end up with negative 9 plus 7, and we have the 4 minus 12 at the end, at the bottom. Negative 9 plus 7 equals negative 2, divided by 4 minus 12 is negative 8. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, and when you simplify 2 over 8, you get 1 fourth. So the slope of this line that passes through these two points is 1 fourth. So you have to know this formula by heart. Okay. And last but not least, find the slope of the line in the picture. And it's reminding you in iMathAS, do not use 1 as a denominator. Obviously, anything over 1 is itself, right? So we want to find the slope. So to find the slope when you're looking at a picture, you really just want to grab two good points that are easy to count. And you want to count how many times did I go up? 1, 2, 3. So my rise is 3, right? Because it's rise over run. And how many did I move over? I moved over 1. And again, 3 over 1 is just 3. So I would type 3 as the answer here.
For spring, you mean? Yeah. You want to link each assignment? No, I mean, I want to link the class. I don't want to make a mistake like I did last time. Okay, well... Um, Is it already... Or, no, you well, I copied, right. I copied the Blackboard yesterday, so okay. that should be there. Um, so, but when I go now and uh, go in there, I have to make sure... That you pick the right the class. class. So that comes out automatically, right? Well, yeah, what's going to happen is when you're in Blackboard, let's just say you're in your 430 class in Blackboard. Okay. When you get to the launch part, the very first time in that class, well, ask me for class. it's going to show you the days and times and everything. Make sure you pick the 431. Okay, perfect. And not the 630. Right, anyway, they're both the same anyway. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that be a big mistake? What would, what would Probably the, 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 the students would change. Well, it would be a nightmare for you. Yeah, exactly. Grading. It wouldn't be a big deal to them because they'd still see the same work. I right, have to go individually and look at it. Okay. But the grading would be. All right, so, why that comes in auto math? As soon as I go to IMAT on the two or it's gonna IMAT. It's going to show the two classes that you have. You just have to pick the right one. Okay. And then when you go to the second Blackboard course, you have to pick the right one again. Once you pick it that first time, you'll never have to pick the class. And then I just go to the assignment, stop assignment, the assignment. Perfect. Yeah. And that was next. Nice. Right, so, there's no chance for. I'm not saying never. If you never see, the prep is so unpredictable. You don't know what the hell they're going to do. Well, anyway, I, I, I put in some hours at the tourist center, so I said, okay, just, just in case they, yes, yes. they uh, then I let them know to reduce. Yeah, um, because the truth is, most, most we don't know how many people that are failing intermediate may decide to come back. Okay. We don't know how many people that are in 22 that technically, even if they fail, could still move on. We don't know how many of them are going to, we just don't know. So right now the classes are not full, so we don't want to put extras out there and then nobody's class makes, you know. So I well, imagine. Because uh, I'm, I mean, my personal opinion of that is that, that we created a mess uh, because of, there's a lot of students that, They're that 18. they think, because a lot of them come to me and say, do you think I can go? And I says, I'm not going to tell you, you can't go in there. It's right. up to you. We can do the work. I mean, and they barely make it. I know. There's no, there's no like, uh, you know, it's an obstacle. They say, but I'm gonna overcome this obstacle first. No, they're just, you know, it's like flying by the wind. I don't know. I, just think I know. So. I agree, but a lot of this is out of our. Yeah, I know. I they said, but I don't, I don't know. What were they? Thinking? How they sit in that? Who they talk to? You know what I'm saying? Do they talk to people that actually teach the course? You know? I don't know <laughs> what they do, honestly. It, I think it's all political. It's all lobbyists. It's all. I, I want them to come to these classes a couple of times, sit in there, and then, and, 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 then see, decide. See, and then decide, you know what I mean, what, what to do. I know, I know. <laughs> it, it, it's frustrating uh, because they don't know what they uh, do. I was thinking that some of these, I have one student in 18, she doesn't know how to add, you know. And she, yeah. and, and she's like, you know, last time she took a test, she cried, you know. Yeah. And I was like, how is this lady going to pass? 